Imagine driving down a scenic road in some exotic, far-flung location when around the bend the rain disappears, the road narrows to practically a trail, and thousands of feet below, if you squint, you can see the skeletal remains of cars long lost. Yes, sometimes the road less taken is less taken for a reason, and in the case of this tent, it is because they may very well kill you. Horshan Mountain Road, China And although there is not a highway, it is the most terrible road that can be walked. Suspended wooden planks over a half kilometer cliff in the Huashin mountain range are clearly one of the most dangerous tracks on earth. Nevertheless, hundreds of daredevils are trying to cross this route. As soon as you imagine that you have to step on these narrow, slippery steps, or better not, Everyone makes a decision for himself. Los Caracal Pass, Chile, Argentina The Los Caracal Pass connects the Chilean capital Santiago and the Argentine city of Mendoza across the Andes. The Paso de los Caracoles Road from the Spanish Serpentine Route was named for its 29 studs that lift trucks and cars from 800 meters above sea level to a dizzying 3,200 meters to the border crossing with Argentina. In winter, ice and snow several meters thick make it very dangerous to climb and descend, and in summer, the heat ruthlessly tests the brakes and engines of heavily loaded trucks. Killer to Pangi Road via Kishtwar, India. This hill raising road is only for people who love to drive in the mountains and have nerves of steel. Open only during the summer months, this rocky gravel road is about 70 miles or 114 kilometers long. A six mile stretch of it is particularly hazardous. Rocky overhangs look as if they could fall upon the roadway at any moment. The road was built hundreds of years ago by local villagers and has not been repaired over the decades. Only wide enough for one jeep at a time and having no guardrails, this dirt and gravel road is terrifyingly unstable in places. One false move by a driver could send a vehicle 2,000 feet down a vertical cliff. This road is so frightening that it is hard to watch videos of people driving over it. Here cars crash easily due to strong winds. El to Atlas Road, Morocco It is a deep canyon in the El to Atlas or High Atlas Mountains in Morocco, east of Marrakesh, along which a road is laid. The place is known for its picturesque views and rocky landscapes known as the Brain of the Atlas. Apparently, due to the large number of convolutions, for centuries the deadest gorge was washed away by the waters of the river, and now it is a tourist attraction. The 160km road is considered one of the most dangerous in the world, especially when it overflows the banks of the deadest river. Rotang Pass, India. The Rotang Pass also makes up one of the most dangerous roads in India. Located on the eastern Pirpanjal Ridge of Himalayas, at a height of 4,000 meters above sea level, this road is just 53 kilometers from Manali. Rotang Pass is only open from May to November and encounters heavy traffic jams. The road is filled with heavy snow and gets covered with slash, which makes it even tricky to drive or ride on it. Furthermore, the road is covered in dense fog for most of the time of the year, that further makes the task difficult for the travelers. 
It is so dangerous that the government of India is building an 8.8 km tunnel as an alternative. Judge Harry Priggerson Interchange, USA Judge Harry Priggerson's four-level junction is considered the most difficult road construction in the world. You can turn in any direction while only one exit uses a cloudy skip. To be more precise, it allows interchange with four layers of bridge falls in the very complex road network, allowing an uninterrupted flow of automobile traffic. In addition, a passenger station was built at the junction, uniting the metro line and bus routes going in all directions. For the first time, the problem of combining all modes of transport in one node was solved. However, if you are poorly oriented in the city or do not know traffic rules perfectly, then the road to judge Harry Pribison interchange in California is not for you. According to statistics from local authorities, the interchange provokes from 9 to 30 accidents per day. Zoji La Paz, India Another example of the deadliest road is the Zoji La Paz. Small mistake and you might land yourself with your vehicle down from an altitude of 3.5 thousand meters. One of the prime reasons why the Zoji La Paz is ultimately frightening and scary road to travel is the fact that it is narrow and you will find snow slash on it for the major portion of the year. The pass is a vital link between Ladakh and Kashmir. It is often closed during winter due to the treacherous condition, closing off Ladakh from the rest of the world. Even when the sun is shining, the drops are steep, the roads are narrow and there are no barriers. It is littered with overturned buses, crashed cars and livestock. Yungas Road, Bolivia North Yungas Road is known as Death Road or Camino de la Muerte for all of the reasons you would guess. Driving up or down this 43 mile or 69 km switchback is extremely perilous due to fog, landslides, cascades and cliffs that drop 2000 feet or 610 meters at every turn. The road seldom gets any wider than 10 feet or 3 meters and many crosses stand as memorials to those who have perished there. Nearly 300 drivers were killed here every year until 1994. It is no wonder it called a nickname. Every year an average of 26 buses and cars fell into the abyss, killing dozens of people. In 2007 a modern safe highway was opened, an alternative road from La Paz to Caroico. Since then, cars have hardly traveled along the old road and it has become a tourist attraction. Dozens of turns get an adrenaline rush every day while cycling down the death road. Bitten Bridge, Russia The bridge over the Bitten River is one of the scariest bridges in the world. Its length is 500 70 meters and it's wide enough for just only one car. The bridge has no railings and it's in very poor condition. Weather and time are gradually destroying it. Vitimsky Bridge was built in the early 1980s during the construction of the Baikal Amur mainline as a temporary one. After the construction of a permanent railway bridge across Vitim, it was set on fire but the metal base remained. Sleepers were laid on the beams. The only crossing of the river for many hundreds of kilometers was used by local residents and members of the expedition. Officially, the bridge was not put into operation. Despite its dilapidated state and all decaying wooden floors, the bridge is used by about 1.5 thousand people every day at their own peril and risk, because besides the railway, this is the only way of communication with the Kuanda village. In 2018, the support on this bridge was washed away when water and traffic on it was going to be stopped. According to the Ministry of Emergency Situations, this bridge was recognized as emergency and closed back in 2017, but people at their own peril and risk still continue to cross it to the other side of the coast to this day.
Weibur D915 Road, Turkey. This is the most dangerous road in the world, a real road to hell located in Turkey which has claimed many lives over the past few years. Words and pictures do not convey the idea of how dangerous the road is. Weibur D915 is 106 kilometers or 99 miles long with 29 sharp bends. Those who have traveled on it say that it is impossible to go through any of the curves in one maneuver. There is no fence on the one section of the road, and nothing in the world can prevent a car, which made a wrong maneuver, from ending up in the void. The road runs at the foot of Mount Sogandi, and 1,800 meter or 1,100 miles, high mountains that is part of the Turkish ridge, in the Sogandi valley. Everyone who goes to Cappadocia must go through this. The road was built by Russian soldiers in 1916. Part of the Weber D915 track was cut off in winter due to icy winds and ice formation of the dirt road. If the Camino de la Muerte in Bolivia is mainly traveled by tourists who are willing to risk their lives to admire the magnificent landscape, then Weber is practically a highway on which Turks go to work every day. Therefore, on the road you will meet all types of vehicles from cars to trucks and motorcycles. Would you dare travel on this road?